Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of Nanatsu no Taizai, or you, call, or you could call it The Seven Deadly Sins, on chapter 262. Now, this chapter right here was pretty slick. Next chapter, it's gonna be very slick. <laughs> so, if anything else, <laughs> let's just get this started. We had to it that Deria is walking on the battlefield with nothing more than sadness and despair on her face, while Death Pierce is freaking losing his anger and tries to and tries to slash Derriere, but apparently it, his sword does not work on her. And he gets really upset about this. I'm thinking in my mind, you're an idiot, dude. You think a human like you is able to damage a freaking chosen commandment or something whatsoever? But we add to it that um that Elizabeth asked Derriere, like, what happened? Like, what happened to you? And Derriere's like, I had no idea where I'm where I was going. I just felt your magic. She therefore tries to explain what happened by saying Montpiant went and saved me, someone like me. And Esterosa, he and Elizabeth's like, Esterosa, what are you talking about? And then Esterosa shows up with Sario and, Tar Sario and Tario looking at him. They say it's him. And Esterosa is so excited by saying, oh, look, I even found better treasure too. This is the greatest. Ho, 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 ho. And we have to it that he gets rid of the humans by using Black Hound of his darkness and causes major damage to the army, apparently. And we have to it that he surrounds himself with the darkness with Elizabeth and Derriere. And Esterosa says, you know, I never thought you actually escaped from my elder brother like that. This is my lucky day. I'm glad to see you again. And we have to it that Esteros is like, hey, and Derriere, I'll be taking your commandment. Not to mention, I'll send you away, Mons Piet. I'll send you to join Mons Piet soon. And Elizabeth's like, as I thought, you are collecting the commandments so that Melios can become Demon King, aren't you? But Esterosa tries to say otherwise by saying, I don't remember wanting to help him become Demon King, but he tries to explain to Elizabeth, but Elizabeth uses her arc and ends up flashing him away. But Esteros like, at least listen to what I have to say, and ends up getting flown off. But Esterosa pops out of her, um, pops out of Elizabeth's arc and goes like, Wow, you sure are, are friendly. If you're going to reject me this much, it just makes me want to steal you all the more. Stubbornness and all. But we have to it that Sario and Tario goes like top ranked demon or not. It's remarkable for anyone to take Lady Elizabeth's arc head on and come out and scath. I suppose I, could, I should commend you for that, Esther Rosa. And Esther Rosa realizes that the presence is actually the four archangels, Sario and Tario. Tarmio. And we have to it that he goes like, oh... Where's Rudishel and Mal? Oh, but he ends up making a mockery sign by saying, Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. I killed Mal like a dog or something. And and they end and Sario and Tarmiel ends up using their their freaking spiteful state and launch it at Esther Rosa. And they go like, We each of the four archangels has much power as you two two of you commandments. We won't even work up a sweat eliminating you by ourselves. But Esterosa effortlessly just knocked out and said, if you're going to talk big, then you better back it up. And he uses Killing Saucer and ends up actually consuming Sario and Tarmiel of their of their host. And by saying, you know, I have already killed the strongest of the arc of the four archangels. What makes you think you ch pair of chumps like yourselves could defeat me? You didn't even have a chance to show off your favors, Tornado and Ocean. But apparently when they're falling down, a, a, a blinding light broke out of Esther Rosa's shadow and says, You want to see it that bad? Okay, we'll show you. We'll show you what the fairest bestowed the, to we archangels, and we shall avenge our fallen brethren Mal. And Esther Rosa just smiles at them by saying, Okay, this is going to get interesting. Let's start. And, yeah. So pretty much we have to it that um, simple and just a simple summary, honestly, is like, Deria shows up to talk to Elizabeth what happened, but before she can complete her sentence or the story, Esterosa shows up, blocks everyone out with this black hound darkness, and gets flown away by Elizabeth's art after having a little small conversation with her, and gets more addicted to Elizabeth, and ends up having to fight against Sario and Tarmiel. And he, it looks like he defeated them effortlessly, but it looks like Sario and Tarmiel end up showing their true forms, apparently, after being consumed by darkness, and says, Okay, you want to see our true power? We'll show you our true power. So, you best be ready because we're going to whoop your butt. So, next chapter is called Darkness Bursts or Darkness Explodes. I don't know what's really bound to happen, but I really hope we get to get to see a glimpse of Esterosa's true, true power, honestly. 
Because if he actually killed Mal, one of the strongest of the four Archangels, which I'm pretty sure Mal was not Mal was not at his peak yet when he had Sunshine on, etc. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And we had to it that um, we're going to have to find out like... Um, yeah, I hope to see Esteros' true power, not to mention Sardio and Tarmio's um, true full power as well. Hopefully, it'd be very interesting, and I'm really, really excited to see this. And I'm pretty sure Esteros is going to be a tough opponent to beat, because if he defeated Mal, one of the stro strongest four Archangels, then it'd be trouble. But let's not forget, Escanor himself had sunshine within him, and... He defeated Esterosa when he was getting stronger and stronger and he was using his sun, sun, his freaking, freaking sun, sun magic or something. So I don't know if Mal used that or not against Esterosa because we all know Esterosa got owned by Escanor when he had Sunshine on. Let's not forget that. We, I only question is, how did Mal get killed so easily by Esterosa or something? Guess we'll have to find out. Because I really hope there might be a flashback or backstory of how Esterosa defeated Mal. I mean, the only obvious reason, the way how he, he would defeat Mal is that his Sunshine ability, Grace or something, was not at its peak form or perfect form, etc. So yeah, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot toot